Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Gold Rush. Uh, as you can tell, I have been very busy. I actually got this whole site completely cleaned out. Uh, well, for the most part, we still have a lot of stuff down here, but we'll have to get the the loader and maybe the dump truck next season for it. Uh, just because, you know, look at it, we got eight days till winter. Uh, I don't plan on running once the, wa the, the winter hits, once the water starts freezing, just because can't wash through it without water right uh, and trying to get that water tower going is going to be super expensive I actually found out too that uh, the water tower I actually have to fill it up myself so I have to hook up a pump to it keep the pump running so I can get filled up with water um, uh, at the point right now I'm actually out of fuel more or less there's a little bit of fuel in the excavator I got water in the pump or fuel in the pumps fuel in the generator but yeah uh, as you can see rental equipment can break down. I actually had to replace both hydraulic hoses on the excavator. So that has been a bit of a snag. Uh, if you look up on top right there, I still have about 10 grand to my name. I have 195 ounces or 95 grams of gold left. So we do have some money, which is good. Uh, the bank already took their money for the excavator. The landlord already took his gold. I haven't processed any gold myself but I do have two four six eight ten buckets now today I want to see if I can actually get that excavator uh, I have no idea if that's actually gonna happen or not it all depends on how generous the bank is to me uh, fortunately we don't owe them any money I got the empty buckets in here let's get these out of here uh, but yeah so that is the plan I'm gonna go gather up all this all these all this pay dirt and grab the generator and we will head over to the wash tent uh, yeah, I did actually replace the wheel on the trailer. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I shall meet you at the tent. Okay, I'm at the tent. I got everything hooked up right now. I think I got a couple more buckets left to do. Uh, I think it was a couple episodes ago I was talking about how the color of the painter actually determines how much gold there is. Well, judging by what I'm seeing here, this should actually be really good. It would be nice to get like over a thousand grams. If I get over a thousand grams, the landlord will take set 300. But with the loan I can get from the bank, we might actually be able to, be able to buy the excavator. Uh, two, four, three. Okay. I have to make sure I have all my buckets there. Oh, yeah. We need water and power before we do anything. And yeah, we'll do that. And we'll run over here and do this. Um, as far as the weather goes, it rained all day yesterday. Like, it did not stop at all. Looks like it's going to be a bit of a nice day today, but uh, we're in autumn. It's going to start raining, and it's going to start raining a lot, which means we're going to be able to process a lot of dirt. So it kind of makes me wonder if uh, if I should get the big fuel tank or not, or not, because uh, usually the fuel is what's holding me back, just because I have to constantly head out to town, fill up the, the little mobile tank there, and come back. 1600 grams of magnetite. Ooh, that's a good bucket. I'll do the next one. Um, the only problem with getting the. Oh, that actually goes over here. Uh, the only problem with getting the big fuel tank is we do have winter coming. Uh, even if I do s decide to sleep in the hotel and uh, end the season, uh, any equipment I have on the claim. Ooh, the, this is going to be a good run. Uh, any equipment I have on the claim will end up. Get it, taking permafrost damage. I think I mentioned that before where I was doing a bit of a playthrough and I decided to end the season early, left everything outside, came back and I had 81 repairs I had to do, which is about $40,000 of the parts. <laughs> I had the pumps and the duplex jig gone, I had trauma parts and everything. Oh, this is a good run. This was some really good ground. Uh, I have been thinking about where we're going to go next and I'll show you that while this is processing here. I'm going to drop that down, we'll go into the map here, and I'm thinking I'm going to start going here. Uh, thinking about what I'm going to do, there's actually a big pocket here on the ground, which is going to be hard for the wash plant and the excavator. So what, I'm, what I might do is, I did this cut here, somewhere around here, and what I'll do is I'll probably carry on here, digging this area, but I'll have the wash plant on this side, and that just makes it, you know, easier. Uh, again, I'm trying to get the furthest dirt I can from the dashboard tier 3 area just because we've got the mobile plant and less tra less travel times bringing it there uh, once we get the tier 3 we start digging up all this dirt uh, tier 3 is going to give us a higher yield just because it has better collection areas 
Uh, but whether or not that happens this, this season, I don't think it will. But, and this bucket is 1300 This one was a little less, but uh, I'm not complaining. I'm still getting some pretty good gold here by the looks of it. And bring on the rain. Yeah, like I said, it's autumn. It's going to be raining a lot, which means we're going to be able to run water. Plenty, or we're going to have running water a lot. My problem is, though, is I can't use a tablet. Not that I have it, need any use for it, but it's there. I really wish we could smelt our own gold in here. But anyways, I got a few more buckets of this to go through. Look at that, another 1,600 buck, 1,600 grams of magnetite. So I'll process that, process this, and I'll bring you back when it's time to run it through the wave table. Okay, last bucket's going through the separator now. Um, it has been brought to my attention that I could be running both of these at the same time. I know I could, but uh, that's how you get buckets mixed up, and I don't want to be. I want to make sure I get the magnetite out of the gold before running to the wave table, uh, just because we need that for upgrades. Uh, as far as the upgrades go, um, again, I'd like to get the yield, but we might end up going with uh, the quantity, just because you know it's going get, to get to the point where we're going to be processing a lot of gold. So let's see what we get out of this. I'm going to do them all in one big run, and we'll see the big number, and I'm... Hoping I'm going to be able to get at least 1,200 grams here. If I can get 1,500 grams, I will be so happy. Because that guarantees an excavator. Yes. And it's going to be a big excavator too. I'm not going to cheap out and get the small one. Oh god, no. This will take a little while. but We've got about 120 already. Which doesn't say much. I did have a bucket that had about a, 1,100 grams of magnetite, so... The yield might not be the best, but, oh god, again, it's a good thing we can't actually knock the buckets over and spill them. But anyways, I shall bring you back with the final total. Okay, last bucket's going through now. Uh, another one that was uh, mentioned too about the magnetite separator, that you can actually put four buckets into the hopper because it only reads 25%. Yes, I can do that, but the output bucket for the gold will only hold one bucket of gold. So if you start putting more than one bucket in here, uh, that'll overflow. I sh it should technically have an internal buffer, but uh, early access games, you can't trust them. But here we are. We are just passing 1,000 grams. It's nice. And uh, it looks like we're going to get about 1,100. Possibly. If it's 1,100, that means I have to save 330 for the landlord, which is going to give us 1,066. 1066 so I need 380 I think for the landlord yeah which gives us about 900 grams we can spend so let's go head off to the blacksmith and see if the blacksmith has some good news for us today I uh, might actually check the magnetite too let's, let's go put that in the magnetite trailer and actually see how much we have in there I can't remember how much I have in there it's been a little while since I recorded uh, unfortunately uh, uh, Birthday bad luck has struck again, and needless to say, I fell behind on my recordings. But anyways, let's go see what this is. I think this was about 10%, so it's not going to be much. And this is empty, so it doesn't even matter. Not even worth it. We wouldn't even be able to get, like, a time up, uh, upgrade or anything like that. So anyways, I shall meet you in Haynes when we get to the blacksmith. Oop, that's the wrong spot for the bucket. Oh, by the way, it stopped raining again, apparently. Don't know why or how, but it did. So, yeah, uh, I shall meet you at the blacksmith. If I can drive straight, roads will get nicey. Okay, here we are. So, let's go in here and we'll smelt up 567, which, uh, again, that gold loss cutting down and the cost is definitely an improvement. Yes, so we'll sell, sell that. Uh, that leaves me about 300 more grams I can smelt. But what we're going to do, and I haven't seen any sales lately. But uh, I have noticed that the prices have been dropping, and someone else had mentioned that um, as we get closer to winter, the winter, the prices of equipment starts dropping. And if that's the case, then we might actually be able to get the excavator today, depending on how expensive it is and how much money I can get from the bank. Uh, so far, it's looking like I'm going to get, oh, probably about 36 grand for... Um, 
Oh, yeah, I gotta do that. I haven't killed the battery yet, but, you know, things are bound to start breaking. Uh, 36 grand plus... Yeah, 36 grand plus whatever I get to the bank, I might be able to get it. 95. Ooh. We might be able to get the excavator today. I was hoping it was going to be on sale, but I guess they stopped putting things on sale now because it's getting so late in the season. Uh, oh, yeah. Got to start the engine. Always helps. So let's go head back to the blacksmith. And I'll run to the bank, and I'll run to the blacksmith again, and I'll meet you at the bank for the second time. And speak of the, speak of the devil. Anyway, I shall return. Okay, we should just about be ready. And so this is going to lead, so I have about 400 left for the landlord. The landlord's only going to take about 380 of that. So we got a few grams to our name, which doesn't mean much. But I still have $9,000, which is great. So let's go see what the bank will give us. Maybe we've got some high stocks. I never really pay attention to the stock prices of how they fluctuate. Um, maybe it gets better at the end of the year. Maybe it gets worse. I don't know. But we shall find out in a moment. Uh, another thing, too, about I was talking about getting the big fuel tank. That may or may not be a good idea just because of the fact of how much fuel you got. Oh. How much is it going to cost to fill it? Because the gas prices here are terrible, so it's going to cost about forty thousand dollars to fix, fill it all up, and that gives us thirty-four grand, thirty-five grand. So we'll sell those two. Yes, gives me forty-five loans. Can you give me fifty grand? Oh, baby, guess what we're getting today. So I need ninety-five. Actually, I got to sell that. I got to get rid of the old excavator. Uh, hmm. You know what? Let's take the loan out now. I just don't know. Let's see how cheap of a payment we can get on this. But this was talk. Oh, that's actually still pretty expensive. I need 50. I need fuel too. That's still going to be $5,700 a day. Oh, decisions, decisions. What do we do here? Got to have the longest term be the cheapest payments. But $137,000 to pay back. Uh, the absolute minimum I need is somewhere around here, which is still five grand a day, which is what? 125 grams of gold? Is that 125? Yeah, 125 grams of gold. Which isn't bad, but again, we've got the landlord to deal with. Hmm. Good call on that one. Let me think about this for a sec. Well, after sitting in the truck for a few minutes and staring out the window trying to decide what I'm going to do, I think what we're going to go out on a limb. I think we're going to actually take the entire loan that we can, and that'll leave us some money to not only buy some fuel, but also to have a little bit of buffer to pay off some of the loan. So if I take this, this will give me 111000 Well, actually give me about $17,000 to spare, which is two days. If payment would go through tomorrow, yeah, it'd give me two days payment. I still have to buy fuel. I still got to set up too. Plus, at the same time too, the excavator is getting to the point, you know, because I lost the hydraulic hoses already, that I might have like teeth going and tracks and everything else. So it might be worthwhile just to get the excavator, because even. Even that payment there is 170 grams, roughly. What's actually the stock at? Yeah, it went down a couple of days ago. I could have gotten a lot more, but yeah, hard mode. What do you expect? So I think we might have to do this. Not that, because we can't afford that. We can't afford this either, but... Gets us what we need. Uh, let's see what time of day it is. It's 8.30, because I still have to get, get back to the claim, bring the excavator over to the cell area, return it, and then get the other one. Got $1,500 to, 1500 to transfer it. Let me pull out the old calculator for a second. My brain don't work too well anymore. 
that's what happens when you turn 40. Okay, so here's what I've decided what we're going to do. Other than the fact that we're not going to drive in there. Uh oh. Am I stuck? Oh, that's why we have a restore feature. Oops, I cheated. Great suspension. Uh, but yeah, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and do it. And all the gold that we get, minus fuel expenses and the landlord, is going to go to pay off the excavator. And I'm at the point now, basically, where I want to try to get this thing paid off before the end of the year. I left myself very little room to move here. But yeah, I'm going to get into this cut here and start work on this area. This is that little pocket I was talking about here, which is going to be kind of hard to work with with the wash plant and the excavator. But if I have the excavator basically digging to where the truck is now and have the, the wash plant on this strip here, then it should be okay. And we can go down here, do another cut, and go from there. Uh, I may have to actually manually reset the fuel tank because I have absolutely no idea how I parked it and I dug myself pretty much into a corner here with the excavator so there's not a whole lot I can do or drive for that matter oops oh my god off-road vehicle my butt oh, at least I don't dig up the dirt I gotta reset this again but yeah that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna reset my Restore my truck. Oh, gotta restore that anyways, because it's gonna take forever to bring it back there. We'll restore that, and just because we'll restore that, because I had that in a terrible spot. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Lights are not a not a handbrake. We'll hop in here, and unfortunately, I just put fuel in this thing too, so I'm kind of wasting the wasting the gas on this. I even have a bucket of pay dirt too. Oh well. It'd be nice if you could actually siphon the gas out of here. But yeah, on rental equipment, this is basically how you return it. You put it on the pad, on the selling pad, and you sell it. Now, unfortunately, there was a bug where you could get the money for the excavator for selling it, but yeah, I don't have that bug anymore. Oh, that's the wrong button. And it's gone. And I reset the fuel tank too because we got to go and get some fuel because it's empty. But we're going to get ourselves a brand new excavator. It's going to be all ours. And that's even better. Uh, I have been noticing some very strange things with the trailers too. Uh, like jackknifing and bouncing around and whatnot. Usual early access physics. Oh, that was too far. But you get the idea. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to go back to the bank. We'll sell our... We'll take out the loan. We'll get some fuel and an excavator. And then we'll get set up for the next cut. And here we are at the bank again. Eh, it's still morning. That's good. So we're going to do this. We're going to take the biggest loan we can. Uh, realis realistically, I could probably get a little bit more gold and sell it and get a bigger loan. But we got to get this taken care of. Now, this payment is going to be pretty bad at first, but once I start paying off some of the money, then we should be... Uh, that'll start going down pretty good, so... This is going to be a big risk. Very big risk. All right, and... Yeah, I guess we'll get fuel first. We'll get fuel and run over to the... Thank you for interrupting me, Church Bell. Uh... Yeah, we'll go pick up fuel, go get to the equipment shop, and maybe we'll check prices of other things too. Just because. Now, one of the things I was wondering about with this, this water tower, because I was talking about how the water tower we repair on the claim, we actually have to fill up with a pump. How do we fill this one up? Does it automatically fill up? It's only got 100,000 liters, but, you know, there's no way to actually pump water to that one, so I don't know how usable that one is. Anyway, let's uh, check fuel prices. See if it gives us a heart attack. Four dollars, right on the nose, and it was what three eighty-two last time we were here. There's four grand down the drain. I guess I should fill up the truck while I'm at it. Do that e and refuel. Leaves me a hundred and two, so I got about eight grand. Oh, sorry, one hundred and seven. 
So it leaves us 13 grand after the excavator, which means we can realistically get two days payments if we don't actually pay off the loan. But we will be paying off part of it, so that's going to go down. But getting gold should not be that bad. I don't know how much how much mining we'll be able to get done today, but we shall see. It is still fairly early, so uh, kind of warm, but it is winter and it's probably going to rain, so I think we'll be okay. Alright, let's go buy this thing. Seniors discount. Seniors discount. No. Can buy it. And we'll do that. And now, for some reason, the rental cost is actually less than what we were renting before because the purchase price is lower. Let's add that. Oh, that's big ticket item. All right, let's order 20 of them. No, I'm just kidding. I don't even think you, could, you can't even, What would you do with 20 excavators anyways? All right, we are down to 12,000. And now we are on to, oh, uh, yeah, move machines. We have 10,000, what is that? 10,751. So that means we have one day's payment to the bank. Um, fortunately, if we don't have the payment for the bank, at least we go in the negative. So we don't have to worry about losing the excavator. The excavator is ours. We keep it no matter what. We may end up $30,000 in debt uh, just because of the bank loans. I may need a new truck, by the, way, by the way, I'm driving. But that's okay because the excavator will be ours. We just won't be able to smelt the gold, which kind of sucks, I know. So that means I have to make sure I get some gold processed and make sure the landlord gets his gold it doesn't take my money because I need my money without my money I can't get my gold and I'm not selling any more gold ore to the blacksmith now at $17 a gram no thank you been nothing like getting 2,000 grams of gold to have to sell it for 34 34 yeah 34,000 when realistically you'd be 80,000 85,000 which I know doesn't say much, but we're still on the tier two, so we can't really do much else besides that. Uh, so yeah, now we just gotta get that that loan paid off. It's risky, but you know what? We still have eight days of mining. All right, so I'm gonna go and get everything set up. I gotta try to get the excavator over to this area here. I have absolutely no idea how I'm gonna do that. Oh, I'm jackknifing today like there's no tomorrow. Somehow that actually <laughs> sounded right. I'm hoping I can actually drive it up on here. Onto that little embankment and the track will, co track will cross over that. And get set up here. So, uh, I shall bring you back when I'm all set up. And it's, it's a sign from the heavens. It's starting to rain. Which is good because I'll, once I get this set up, I plan on running as long as I can. As long as I don't have to stop because I run out of water, we're golden. All right, let's lift this up. And now we got to do a long, long, long drive over there. It's going to be about noon by the time I get the excavator over there. And I get the wash plant set up, re set, re relay the hoses, and get everything in place. So it'll be a few minutes. I sh guess I'll see you after lunch sometime. Oh, my God barely gonna make it through that's about as close to high as I could drive up on that mound all right so we go over here and it's gonna be the same thing gotta get the, the excavator set up in a position where I can cover as much ground and still get into the wash plant I'm actually wondering now maybe if I should start over here might be smart because I know it's already it's already open Brand new excavator can't even climb a hill. What is going on with this world? All right, let's see how far of a reach we have. Well, I know how far of a reach we have, but let's see here. So I could probably get to about here. Try to find some level ground. Which would be about here. Now, the, the, the square I have highlighted apparently has about 7,000 grams in it. 
7600, the one next to it, 7200, and uh, that's the one I'm on right now. And then this one over here was when I already started. So I should be able to actually get a fair amount of coverage. I'm trying not to keep my boom extended all the way like that because then when I get down here I can't actually grab because I'm hitting the ground. So I've been trying to keep it about here. And that way it can still scoop and work out to our advantage. And this looks like a really good place to actually start. We could probably move just a little more. And then the wash plant will sit right here. And then as I work along, I can bring the wash plant back and we'll move it back. And then either move it over there and start working back this way or bring it over here and then we'll work that way again. So with that being said, uh, let me get everything set up and I shall return. I tell you though, you never really real, really realize how much dirt you actually move. Uh, yesterday, when the yeah, when the bank took their payment out, and the, I can't remember if the landlord took any gold out yesterday or not. I don't think he did because I didn't process anything. But I moved 1,100 cubic meters of dirt. And the best thing is, there's just so much gold left down here. It's just unbelievable but I just can't really get to it right now which is where the, the dump truck is going to come in handy but I thought I'd just fill this up because we always get it with half a tank of fuel so I'll do that and that'll give us at least another tank all the pumps are full so shouldn't have to worry about it too much so anyways uh, yeah let me get the wash plant set up and I shall return and it seems I have to uh, reset the wash plant too no way I'm hitching onto that thing. Not with a 30 foot drop like that. So that means I have to drive back to the front of the claim to get the damn thing. And done. Which means I can pick up all my stuff off the ground and get it all set up. <sighs> I'm going to go throw the jerry can in the truck and it bounced off the other side and ended up down in the hole. I don't know if I can get out of here or not. Let's find out. Wow. Never really, never really realized how deep it is until you get in here. And to, th to think there's probably bigger excavators than this. But, yeah, anyway, uh, let me tidy up and I'll be back. Okay, I got the wash plant in place. So that means I have to go and get all the pumps lined up again. Now, unfortunately, the way they are, that's not, not going to reach. Uh, I'm probably going to leave this one here. Actually, no, we're not. Because I got this pump here. So I got to take this hose. We're going to pull on the slack, and we're going to drag it this way. If you try to do something like this in real life with these hoses, it's not easy. I have actually used these at my work. We've actually used these identical pumps. Well, not identical, identical, but the same, same kind of water pump. And trying to drag these hoses when they're full of water especially is not easy. All right, now I'm just hoping I'm going to be, be able to actually reach it. Because if I don't reach it, then we're not actually mining. Now, what was uh, rotate again? No, oh, that's CMV. It was. Uh, it wasn't ZNX. What was it? I'll figure it out. Of course, I'll figure it out. You know why? Because it's you hold the right mouse button. Ha ha ha! I know what I'm doing. See, professional YouTuber here. Sure, I can hear everybody laughing, including myself. So yeah, that is the plan. I'm gonna try to see if I can actually cut across here. I think we'll, I think we'll reach it. I really don't want to buy another pump because it means we have to buy another pump. Although realistically, getting uh, the power generator might be a good idea, uh, just because of the fact that fuel lasts not for a very, very, very long time. But that has its share of breakdowns too, because apparently the buttons can break. Yes, I know, of all things to break on a generator, the buttons, it's like the last thing you'd expect. I hope they fix this hose mechanic. You almost have to, like, keep reeling, it, reeling in the slack just to get it to go straight and get your maximum length. Because again, only 37 meters. Uh, so I got I to gotta tug on my hose a little bit. Uh, YouTube, don't take that the wrong way. 
And I'll bring you back when I got everything all set up. Oh, it's actually going to reach this time. And let's see where that is. 56. Too long. And I say too long because when you're connecting pumps like this, it's not a matter of the push of the that pump. It's a matter of the pull on this pump or whatever pump I have next, which realistically doesn't make sense. It should have not should have no problem doing this. But yes, we have enough room. So uh, let me get everything set up and I shall return. Okay, I have the wash plant all set up. I got it all connected to the water. It's actually one hose shorter than what it was, which is good because I'm going to need to stretch the hose all the way over there if I need to, if I can, that is. But I got 16 buckets ready to go. I have my excavator filled up, ready to go. I'm in a good spot. Wash plant is a go. So it is rain, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start... I'm going to start digging. I'm going to burn some diesel, a lot of diesel, dig up a lot of dirt. And I'll bring you back in the next episode with 16 full buckets of pay dirt. And we'll see where we go from there. Maybe I was thinking about if we if we yield on average 100 grams a bucket. I mean 16,000 grams uh, minus, or sorry, 1,600 grams uh, minus what the landlord's going to take out of that, which would be close to 500 which will still be about 1100 so that's 40 grand a day so i could have that loan paid off in three days which means we could be in the clear before winter even gets here and then we stockpile the gold we worry about the landlord and go from there and that's what we probably end up going to the tier three like i said in the spring uh, i'm gonna try to push push it as long as i can to try to get as much out of the season as i can because what I want to do in the spring after we pack, or pack it in for the permafrost is I want to get the tier 3 up and running over here. Uh, again, once we get that loan paid off, we'll have sold so much gold that we should be able to actually get what we need or get the loan we need to get this thing set up. Uh, prices in the spring should be relatively cheap, so the shaker won't be 50 or whatever it is. It'll probably be a lot cheaper than what it was. And we'll go from there. But anyways, I uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.